This is a site plan for a new um, end mill facility, uh, and it's at 150 Mark Drive. It's a 76,482 square foot facility. Um, it, um, and I'll go over the, the, the site plan with you in a second. And it also includes, um, although this will be done at, by the city at a separate time, we will come back to the planning commission to get the final approval. But it also includes the opening of Cochrane Road between uh, the Cavalier Trail side of the street, where there's a, a section of Cochrane Road that's already finished, and the existing Cochrane Road that runs from State, Ro State Road to where the cul-de-sac is. Uh, first of all, before I mention anything, I do want to thank Mr. Guerra and uh, both the current and previous administration for their support on putting the project together. This has been, seems like months in the working, but conceptually uh, many years. And uh, I don't think we're done yet once this, once this project is done. We're looking at uh, further investment there on the property there on Mark Drive and uh, off of Cochran Road. So uh, just to give you, I guess, a little bit of background, mm -hmm. the company is a second generation business. And as, as little as 10 years ago, we were invested in uh, Talmadge, Brimfield, Monroe Falls, and Cuyahoga Falls. And at that time, we were spread just about everywhere and wanted to make a commitment to centralize ourselves and certainly targeted uh, Cuyahoga Falls as the place where we wanted to be. We have purchased 15 acres in 1999 on that campus with a plan, and it's hard to think 10 and 15 years out, with a plan to try and get everything out on campus. And here we are. 15 years later, uh, certainly well into a second generation of business, and uh, it's our pleasure, and we're very excited about uh, investing $10 million in, uh, in this facility and some new equipment to ensure that there are nice, well-paying manufacturing jobs in this local community. So uh, my thanks to uh, developing uh, the project down there, to everybody in the community, and uh, our as a company and as a family looking forward to our further investment in the community. There certainly would not be an immediate uh, employment increase and one of the things that we have to continually talk about when we talk about these kinds of investments, uh, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'll give you a snapshot that, that really tells you how the manufacturing tell. If you want to survive, this is what happens. Uh, when I took over as president of the company in 1999, we had 525 people and we now have in the local area here, about 210, and we're probably about 40 to 50 percent larger than we were at that time with sales volume and productivity. The key is the investment in equipment more so than anything else. And with the investment in equipment, obviously, it becomes uh, set up operators that are competent and capable to run that equipment. And uh, we built this building, uh, or we're planning to build this building. Uh, with at least a 50% increase in capacity. So every time we invest $2 million in equipment in that building, uh, we would add four, sorry, three new jobs for every $2 million of equipment. And we have room to <coughs> purchase, sorry, how many more? 40 more? We have room to install 40 more of these machines, which would essentially mean 10, 30 more, 30 more jobs potentially as time goes on, but certainly growth doesn't happen overnight just because we have a new building. We have to find new customers, et cetera, to grow the business. Uh, very good, but uh, as you shared with us already with your history of your growing company, and, uh, we really appreciate you locating the town of the falls. I look forward to this going forward. Our pleasure to do that, sir. I, did, I probably didn't finish my story about the size of the equipment that used to be it used to be it took three people to make one product, now it takes one person. So uh, that efficiency gain enables us to be competitive. That, that efficiency gain enables us to be competitive in the marketplace, otherwise uh, we go by the wayside. So having more people isn't always the objective as a, as a manufacturing company, it's trying to be as effective and as efficient as we can.